YouTube. How's it going? Y'all know me through my fooler videos, all that good stuff. Fool ain't running, right? Had to get some problems fixed on it, still working on it, all that good stuff. As you can see, I got a back brace on. I can't really see it, but I got a stand on too on my wrist. Had some problems Monday, September the 9th, 2019. Today is September the 14th, 2019, Saturday. And uh, on Monday, I fell through the roof, 15 foot. I'm glad I'm still here. By the way, was working on the flat roof. I'm a roofer, and uh, there we was doing flat roof. We had to take it all the way up to the steel beams. They had the beams, of course. Then they had metal, steel metal. Then they had some kind of lightweight concrete stuff. Then they poured, poured tar on it. Some thick ass tar shit on it. Anyway, we go through there. We cut in sections of the tar up, right? So we can pull them up easier, move them out the way, go on about our business. So we did that Monday mornings, cutting up pieces. This regular morning, got there at 6 o'clock in the morning. Been cutting pieces, right? We lift them up, take them off, set them down. All right, good stuff. Anyway, it was me and another dude taking up a piece of of the tar stuff. We pick him up. He was standing right in the same spot that I fell through now. So when he goes that way, I follow him, of course, because I'm carrying the tar too. So I took steps to the left. Next thing I know, I blink and I see the flash of the beams, and I already know what's going down. I'm following. So I just close my eyes, next thing you know, I'm looking up. I didn't even feel the impact of the ground now. I'm looking up. I did. I know I was out of breath. I looked up. I was trying to catch my breath. I saw the dude that I worked with, another dude. He wasn't the one that was standing beside me now. He was talking to me, saying that I was alright and all that good stuff, but I could not answer it back because I was out of breath. Next thing you know, I'm blacked out. I'm having some sort of dream. I don't know what was going on in the dream, though. But 40 seconds later, the dude that was standing beside me and the boss they came down to check on me, to check me out, let me catch my breath, bring me some water, all that good stuff. We walk outside. I had to sit down again, caught my breath some more. Anyways, one, the dude that was standing beside me on top of the roof before I fell through, he took me to the hospital in his trucks. And it ain't, it ain't far. It was like... Four or five minutes down the road. Anyways, we're going there. Go there. Get in the hospital. All that good stuff. They told me I got six, four to six fractures in my vertebrae. Broke collarbone. And a compound fracture in my wrist. Something like that. It's not called that. I've been getting correct on it ever since I've been saying it. It's basically where you broke both of your bones and your wrist. Anyways. They told me that I'm stable enough to ride in a personal vehicle to another doctor. Because they didn't have the equipment for me. So anyways, I get there. They Before they discharge me, they put Dremelwain in me for the pain. I was passed out, all that good stuff. In and out of pain. I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyways... When I wake up, when we get to the other doctor, my cousin asked me if I, she could call the lawyer, and I was wondering why. She told me that I was not supposed to be discharged from there since I had a broke back. And if she had a bump wrong, I could have been paralyzed today. Right? So anyways, when we get to the doctor, my cousin goes in, tells the, tells the doctors all that. She comes out and says, the doctor looks at her crazy. Like, she was dreaming that shit that she had me in the back of the car with broke back. So, yeah, she got a lawyer for me. Anyways, we had the papers and that, from the doctor that I went to before I went to the other doctor. They told, they had it on the paper that I rode in the ambulance. So, if they send me a bill for the ambulance... It'll probably be a good sue to sue them. Because I didn't ride in no ambulance. 
But anyways, that's my story for now. That's part one. I'll come out with the part two after I get deal done with all the ordeals about the lawyers, the bills, and all that good stuff. And I just, I'm blessed that I'm still here today from that 15-foot fall. I ain't gonna lie to you. Or, I am blessed. I don't know why I'm finna say or. I'm blessed that I'm still walking. I'm glad I'm not a par paraplegic. I feel so sorry for the ones that are coming through my heart. Because I knew I could have been one that day. Easily. Or at least six foot down. And I'm praising the man above for every breath I'm taking right now since Monday. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Like and subscribe. Share the video. Have a good day.